Oh shit. My sister had this dream. Bad dream. And the whole world was dreaming with her. Dylan? She convinced herself that she was awake. She's always been stubborn. I knew I had to end her dream. I had to wake her up. I had to rip down the poster she'd been staring at. Cut off her eyelids to make her see. To save her. Oh, come on. See, that hurts. That hurts. I'm dead. Where am I? Just like the original area. <laughs> These are all frequencies. Inside. I know because that's how it was for me. Special. Assumption. Okay, well. Get there. Come on, I want to I get to kill some stuff and maybe get some life back. Yes. like level 30.
I'm all powerful here. Look at that motherfucker. Look at his neck. Goodbye. Some kids you say you say, say you fuck the road. Meet friend, meet friend. The only thing that saved me was the fact that I heard that bitch scream. <laughs> Just a puri fuck. Go for a friend. There you go. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Done? To go meet your friend. Friend, this is Facebook. Yeah, me too. The end of you.
not that way. This way. Closer to you, Dylan. Whatever your fucking name is. Brother, bitch. This dude in his dick. He said it coming. in a coma. I don't know if there's anything of him left in there. If he'll ever find his way back. The portal's been closed, but the hiss is still in the oldest house. And the lockdown can't be lifted as long as any trace of it remains. I'm working on a solution with my management team, but there is still a long road ahead. I'm the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. We're in this together. You... ...and I. Wait! This is what I was waiting for! The director of Federal Control... <laughs> Chris, this is not over. Your work is not done. Of course it's not done. Because there's always more to do. Shawshank Redemption. That's the name of the movie I was thinking of earlier. God damn it! Not important, but that was it. <laughs> it's not like her to be absent during a crisis. I'll be here waiting for you when you wake up, brother. Brother. If you wake up. Oh, I sure. Being nervous. <laughs> Jesse, good to see you. We've got Dylan situated in his containment cell like you asked. I've got medical staff running tests as we speak, and I'd be happy to walk you through the details later. Other than that, what's next? With the slide projector turned off, the hisser shut out, but we're stuck with the ones already here. We can't lift the lockdown until they're all eradicated. If any hiss ever got out, that would be the end of everything. Well, eliminating them all will take time. Look, I'll do what I can on my end, but my research is progressing slower than I'd like. I think I can help with that. Hmm. I am making you the head of research, effective immediately. Yeah. I want you to use everything the Bureau has, every resource, every confidential scrap of data, and find a way to keep the hiss out for good. That's... Really? And now she's... I mean, yes, yes, I can happy. certainly... Yes! <laughs> yes, I accept. You'll do great. Besides, I didn't really have anyone else lined up. I'm honored, Jesse, really. Thank you. She looks like an executive. That's Do you for sure. remember Mr. Tomasi, the head of communications? The hiss he was changed into showed up in containment near the turntable. I'll take care of it. Hmm. That thing's not getting away this time. I've heard reports about his particular use of language and intonation when repeating the his babbling. The biological and behavioral distinctions between different his corrupted individuals is truly fascinating. I wonder if I could categorize the data. And she's already off on her own thing. Sounds about right. All right. Me as How do you feel about me taking over as director? You act like it just happened. You've been director since we first met, remember? I am still thrilled. Nothing's changed. Not for me. She has some big old but eyes. But the Bureau has changed. Trench and Darling are gone. Their knowledge, anything not written down, disappeared with them. They knew the Bureau better than anyone. 
They're the Bureau's past, Emily. We won't operate like they did. We'll learn from their mistakes. We'll be better than they ever were. Yes. We won't ever be like them. Hopefully. Darling's fate. When the hiss got into my head, I saw some weird things. I think Darling even spoke to me. Does that make any sense to you? Empirically, no, but phantom voices as well as hallucinatory states are not uncommon here. And considering the forces that Dr. Darling was working with, he could have been transferred to a different plane of consciousness, physically or otherwise. And that doesn't upset you? Oh, very. <laughs> and the fact that he hid those forces from me is infuriating. But Darling's dream was always to look beyond our reality. This time he may have taken a step too far, but as long as his consciousness can perceive his surroundings, I'm sure he's loving it. Maybe Darling was just trying to protect you from the darker side of his work. Yes, they're all crazy. Fuck that. I'm not a child. Like, don't just assume I'm going to consider something morally repugnant. Which it all was. <laughs> Which it all was, of course. Dylan's condition. How was Dylan? The same. I, I can't detect any his activity, but his physiology has certainly been altered by it. And I can't tell if his brain activity is genuine or simply the aftermath of the hiss, like spasms. Dylan could wake up tomorrow for all I know. I really can't say. Then I just have to wait for him. Yep. That's fair. He waited a long time for me. Don't worry. We'll be monitoring him around the clock. If he wakes up, we'll be ready. I don't mean that in a hostile way, just... Well, you know. I hear you. My brother isn't exactly popular around here. <laughs> I hope one day he'll have the chance to change that. HRA failure. So... There was a moment, after Hedron died, that I couldn't feel my powers. The hiss got into my head. Just for a moment. So that explains the HRA outage. Before we knew what was happening, the hiss had us. They were in my head. I saw terrible things. Hmm. I mean, I was about to go under forever when the hiss was pushed back. The HRAs had come back on. Dylan vanished afterwards, and we fought off the hiss that came after him. So if Hedron's death knocked out the HRAs, that means there must be a new local source for them to relay. Which, I'm guessing, must be... Yep. Me. Yep. You. Hedron is dead, assuming that word even applies to a resonant-based life form. But whatever it awakened in you, the power you call Polaris, is still active. Or at least, that's what my instruments are telling me. I don't think we're ever going to understand all of this. And I'm okay with that. I'm just glad you're here with me. Some things are just good not that's to understand. That's good to know. Thanks, Emily. The board. I found Dylan attacking the astral plane and the board. What was he hoping to accomplish? Huh. Since they arrived, his have been corrupting objects of power, which have an inherent link to the astral plane. Maybe their goal was to access the astral plane and the board itself. Hmm. That still doesn't tell us why. His motives are a difficult thing to work out, but I have been digging through confidential files and noticed a strange gap in knowledge regarding the board. Looks like any data on them has either been deleted or was never gathered in the first place. Hmm. Then maybe it's time someone looked into that. Something I can do, maybe I guess. Maybe it is. Okay, we did all the... Well, I've got a bureau to run. See you soon. Can't yes, just... ma'am, Director Faden. Please, Emily. Not even as a joke. What? What happened to Meg? <laughs> I 
I'm not allowed to go outside anymore. Oh. 